We are for sure family. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Coming right back at you with another video from For Sure Family. My name is Sean and I represent Team Amphib. That's right, the Amphibious Clan is in the house. And today I want to share with you my recipe for white chicken chili. You know, it's starting to get cold outside and what I like to do to stay warm is get me a big bowl of some good, delicious, spicy chili. You know, that type of chili that warms your heart and soul. Now, I've been cooking chili for quite some time now, quite a few years, and I actually won a few contests with my chili, a bunch of chili cookbooks and this, that, and another. But the only problem is it takes a lot of my time and effort. You know, so I want to try to figure out a way to simplify the process. So today, for the first time, what I want to do is I want to put it in a crock pot. So all the similar ingredients that I usually use, throw it in there, turn it on, set it and forget it, and see what happens, and see if I can produce the same product. And I want to do that with you today. So without any further ado, let's get it started. All right, first, what we want to start with is some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You can use chicken breasts if you prefer. Now, what I did was I cleaned them ahead of time and seasoned them with this Mexican seasoning. Next, we're going to start with our spices and pour them right on top. So we got some cumin, about a two and a half teaspoons of cumin. Um, just sprinkle it on top. Cayenne pepper, about a half a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more cayenne pepper. We got about a half a teaspoon of smoked pep paprika. Just a quarter teaspoon of some um, ground ginger, just a little bit. It's but I think it adds a good bit of warmth to the dish, which I'm looking for right now. About a teaspoon of salt. Three quarter teaspoons of coriander, ground coriander. Three quarters teaspoons of dried oregano. about two teaspoons of minced garlic, two four ounce um, cans of green chilies, and diced onions. And the last thing we need before we get this thing started is some chicken broth. You can use store broth. You can use chicken stock instead. You can make your own. I'm using one with sodium, so I kept in mind to keep some of my spice levels down, especially with the salt. I'm gonna use about 28 ounces or so. Pour it all the way through. And then I'm gonna get it started. I'm gonna cook this for about three and a half hours on high. Or I can go as many as about eight hours. But keep in mind if you're going past six hours, you're gonna have some really, really tender chicken. So I heard. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, still cooking. I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and add a little something that I usually add to my dish. And that is a little bit of smoked sausage. I'm not gonna add too much because it can be overpowering to the dish. Maybe three or four 
ounces to the dish. Dice it up real good and, and cook it in bacon fat. That's one way I can bring my favorite dish or my favorite food into the game, which is bacon. So this is one way I can add that bacon flavor to it. Just a little bit, just a smidgen and still stay true to the crock pot method. Now, next is the beans, preparing the beans. But uh, let's first talk about the type of beans we can use. Um, uh, for white chicken chili, I like to use certain types of beans like uh, baby butter beans, some cannonelli beans, some great northern beans. These are my favorite. Uh, you could possibly use some navy beans or some large butter beans. I may take some great northern beans. I'm going to use three cans total, maybe a can of cannonelli beans and a can of great northern and take another can of great northern and mush them up and add them to the uh, mixture just to thicken it up and give it great flavor. All right, when, whenever I'm using any canned beans, I right, make sure to rinse the beans using a colander or, or some other um, mechanism. And uh, right now, these are my great northern beans, freshly rinsed. If I need my sauce to be thickened a little bit, sometimes I don't drain them. I use some of the juices that the beans are left in just to help thicken my sauce. But mashing the beans in this way should thicken it up enough to ensure that my chili is nice and creamy. All right, so I got the chicken out of the crock pot. It's been in there for about three and a half hours, ready to chop it up. Or you could shred it, whatever your choice is. Pretty tender. All right, so here we are about an hour into my add the mush beans into the mix. You could also puree the beans. It makes it a little easier, especially if you use a little chicken broth and all of that into the mix. And this is all with the thought of thickening and creaming up our chili. But at this point, it doesn't really seem like the water is evaporating like I like. So at this point, I'm gonna leave the top open so some of the water can evaporate out. Oh yeah. Seem like the beans are cooked through and we're about good to go. Now normally, I would have had add some heavy cream to here, to this, but I don't think it really needs it. But what I'm gonna do is add just a little bit of queso, quesadilla cheese. up a little bit more and um, oh, by the way when the chicken got done I did a few taste tests to make sure it's the flavor profile I'm looking for and um, I had to add a little bit of a little bit more salt a little bit more cumin you know you just you got to taste your food Make sure it's where you're trying to get it at. And 
just one more secret whip. We call this here the finisher, sour cream. This is another thing that you can just serve with on top. But I'm gonna throw it in, and this is another thing that I'm not gonna add too much to it because it didn't cook down as much as I like. Stove top is a little bit more controlled in a shorter period of time. But you can see this is really, really, really creamy. Oh yeah. How good does that look? I'm about to dive right on in this thing right here. You know, you can serve it with tortilla chips. I personally like townhouse flip sides, you know, but to each his own. Put a little cheese on the top and go right at it. Let's see how this works out. Squeeze me a little lime on top. Mm. That's the one that goes right to the soap. Very good. Crock pot chicken chili is just as good as stove top. So make sure you subscribe, like if you haven't already, hit that bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the flip side. Peace. This is a warm welcome from the bottom of our hearts from the Foreshore Family Channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, see ya.